when I when I started here, and I started in 1998, they still did a three by five card that said uh, buried in grave number lot number block number name. Usually a cause of death, sometimes not. But <clears throat> every time I had to go look somebody up when. People come in and ask me all kinds of weird questions all the time. <laughs> I figure there's got to be a simpler way. I could just push buttons, push buttons. So we started to computerize everything, which meant I still had to go through each and every card. And I get to see some very interesting causes of death. And this one jumped right out at me. This is, this is John, they called him Joe Anderson. And he was an elephant trainer with the Great Wallace Circus in 1898. That, that came to Racine. Now, as he was unloading his elephant, for some reason, the elephants got angry and trampled Joe to death and, and killed him here. So on his card, it simply had killed by elephant. <laughs> okay, so that led me to, what the heck is the story behind this? And so I went back to some of the newspaper clippings and that, and yep, he unloaded the elephant. Elephant went crazy and trampled Joe to death. Well, the little backstory is, is that from there, the elephant got loose into Uptown <laughs> and started going up and down the streets. Well, all the, all the shopkeepers uh, got scared and went inside and locked their doors. Well, there's still this crazy elephant going up and down the street. Well, the elephant used the door. So, <laughs> well, that's the thing. When, when somebody got to the police department and the police department comes running down the steps, down the street and they see yeah there is an elephant in the street we don't have anything to... so they tried to get in the stores and they were banging on the stores and the shopkeeper said uh, uh, uh. you wear a badge you get the elephant we're in here so they eventually did kill the elephant however because joe was a transient they didn't know where his family was or where he was from he was brought here to mound cemetery and buried well, years after that, Great Wallace would still come back to Racine. But they would make it a point to come to this area, set up circus acts, and perform circus acts in his memory. Not all the headstones were here at this time. This is 1898. This is on the booties. So this is how important Joe was to his circus family. So uh, just a little interesting story. Uh, we're still going through those cards. I find those cards fascinating. Tell them about who put this monument up here. Well, when I started, there was uh, a secretary that worked for me, and um, she apparently had known about this. She didn't know the whole story, but she got together. She was a, a, a motorcycle person and in the High Riders, and she got together her friends in the High Riders and actually purchased this stone and designed this stone. Uh, forget her name. I'll put that on. When was the designation, or when was it discovered that that was John Anderson was his actual name and not Joe? Through the through the newspaper accounts, okay. the, the research that was done. Lauren was her name, and she used to work in the in the office and found this just as interesting a job as, as I do. So she took it upon herself to uh, to put the headstone.